So let's go ahead and move on to some of the Active Directory work we're going to need to do. Um, so in Active Directory, again, this is pretty basic, right? Uh, you don't see a lot of computers. Um, same with users. I've got some users for family members. Um, heck, even my dog is in here, I think. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so in here, we have our certificate authority that I previously added via roles and services and set up. And what we can see here is we have a list of certificates. Now, these are all old um, certificates that were part of domain joins, etc. before, but and some of these are automatically generated uh, when this starts. But our goal here is to set this up so that users and computers get both a user cert and a computer cert pushed to them from this authority. So any current machines joined to the domain and any new machines joined to the domain as part of group policy would get certificates added to them for EPTLS purposes. And the way we do that is based on these certificate templates. You can see that this list of templates is already here and available. What isn't set up in here is any form of auto enrollment on any of these. So the only thing I would get today if I was to join my machine in the background to Active Directory would be the root cert trust. Um, and we can, you know, we'll do that first uh, just so we can see that process. So I'm going to minimize this. And here we are going to connect. They've changed these menus up with uh, Windows 11. Local Active Directory domain. Set the administrator as administrator, and it's going to ask me to restart. So uh, in this scenario, I'm going to have to restart and come back. I will pause the video to do that. Okay, I'm back. And you'll notice here some things have changed. Um, when I rebooted, I logged in as my Active Directory user. So instead of the local user account, now that I'm domain joined, I'm logging in uh, as an Active Directory user. And what we want to do is look at our computer certificates and our user certificates. And what we're going to see here is we do not have any certificates either for our computer or our user. Uh, this is a certificate that obviously was given to me uh, with Camtasia that I'm using to record. If we look at our trusted root authorities, we can see we do have the network tech pushed to us as part of that group policy and domain join process. So out the gate, when we do certificate services, it will push this root cert as trusted to the machines in the domain. So we don't have to worry about that like we did with ICE and manually importing the root certs. So let's jump back over to our domain controller here. So by default, it wants to use my account, which would not have rights. And everything is here as we left it off. So 
we need to be able to create a template here that is going to deploy the proper certificates for the computer and the user to my machine. So in here, if I go to manage, all I'm going to do is find this computer one and do that over. Get the name. Now here in extensions, we don't need server authentication because we don't need this cert to be able to authenticate anything. We want it to do the authentication as the client. So I will remove that. Nothing else really needed changed here or anywhere else. So I'm going to hit apply on that. We're going to see that it created it. Now in the user, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate this template. Most of this, of course, would not be required moving this compatibility settings. Give it a name. Don't want them to be exportable. That one's a default for that uh, template, so we uncheck that. We'll go to 4096 here again, not required. And here is where, if I want this to auto enroll for all of my domain users, which in my case I do, I want every user in the domain to get a cert. Now, if you needed to control who got certs, etc. Right? You can add groups to this and select what you need, but for the sake of my lab, I just want any domain user to get a cert. In here, we're only worried about client authentication right now. And I want the subject name format to be common name and I'll show you why later that is a setting in ice that's there by default once we've created these templates we now have to add them computer auto enroll template user auto enroll template to here. So we've got the CA set up with proper templates to be able to distribute certs. However, even if I come back here and run a group policy update or reboot or any other process here, what we'll notice is we're still not going to receive any certs. And that is where group policy will come in. So here, if I look, I got nothing. So if we jump back over here, go to group policy management, I'm going to create a GPO. And this gets into a whole nother conversation. If it's an existing Active Directory structure, there may already be GPOs that it would make sense to put these configurations in. Uh, in my case, I'm just creating a brand new one. I'm going to edit this guy. And under Windows Settings, Security Settings, Blow this up. Public key policies. We have this certificate services auto enrollment. And notice I'm under the computer side here. 
So if I change this to enabled, we'll tell it to renew expired certs, remove revoked, update certs that use templates, and then down here under the same thing on the user side, we should be good. It should contain the group policy that we need. And now if I come back over here, and if you're in a larger environment, obviously you have to watch uh, with group policy, right? Uh, replication and stuff may take some time. Knowing that I only have one domain controller, obviously it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So here we can see now, I got a certificate, Windows 11 Util. Over here, if I refresh, we can see that my user account got a certificate. And if I look at the subject, this is for the machine computer account, and that is for the user. So now any user, if I was to log off, log back on as another user, um, they obviously would get their uh, own user cert. Uh, the computer cert, you know, for this uh, wouldn't change. So now let's just jump back into ICE. and continue our configuration here. So one of the things we will need to do is, so here under our external identity sources, we have this certificate authentication profile. Now there's a preloaded one that's here by default and we are gonna create a new one. underscore cert. Here we are going to want to choose our Active Directory Identity Store to validate and this piece here. So it will use the identity from the common name by default. If I was to not have changed that certificate template to generate based on common name we would see failures down the road. Um, it's as simple as changing it to any subject or alternative names, and it would continue to work there. You can see it says for Active Directory only. There's no issue doing this, and in fact, for the computer cert, we may have to come back and do this when we get to that point anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and create this. Then we need to start working on policy for our devices. 